Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. I bring you greetings in the joy, in the delight of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed, Jesus takes delight in us. Oh, sisters and brothers, in the name of Jesus, <clears throat> in the presence of Jesus, let us learn to take delight in one another because Jesus has chosen to come and live within one another. Let us rejoice in this truth. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. What does it mean to be a Christian? Today I invite you to meditate on Romans chapter 11 verse 5 and 6. Let me read that. <clears throat> So too, at the present time, there is a remnant chosen by grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer by works. If it were, grace would not be grace. <clears throat> Apostle Paul was writing about the, about the remnant of the Jewish people who believed in Jesus. And uh, in the same way, we can say about the remnant of uh, genuine Christians, disciples of Jesus. There has been always nominal Christians. They consider Christianity as a, a badge of social acceptance, not as a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. <coughs> Pardon me. Therefore, we can say in the midst of all the people who claim to be Christians, God has chosen a remnant by grace, not by works. I, if I consider myself to be in the remnant, then it is chosen by grace, not by my works, that we may not boast about ourselves. We may not condemn or a, a judge other, one another. We don't know who is a genuine Christian or not. God knows. Therefore, we need to respect all Christians. Not only respect all Christians, we need to respect all human beings. Because according to our faith, we are created in the image of God. Yes, we are the photographs of God. We don't see God in one another. We cannot see God elsewhere. There are people who claim to have connection or communion with God and don't have any communion with fellow human beings. I don't know. I cannot judge those people. But brothers and sisters, we are not called to be judges. We are called to be admirers. Oh, what a title God has given us. Admire what God has done, what God continues to do. Admire what God did in and through Jesus Christ, his one and only son who died on the cross. And he did that because he loved us that much because of his amazing love for us. We are all chosen by grace, not because of our merit or because of all the good things we have done. No, it is by pure, by grace. Therefore, what is important for us is to praise God for the grace he has given us. Grace, praise God for all Christians everywhere. Praise God for all human beings everywhere and ask God's blessings upon us that we would see God and Jesus Christ in one another, in all the believers, not only in all the believers, but even in non-believers, because Jesus wants to be in their heart. And how can he get into their heart unless we share Christ with them? And how can we share Christ with them if we 
put them down. Oh, sisters and brothers, it is through admiration, acceptance, delight that God wants us to communicate his good news to everyone. Throughout this day, let us try to see Jesus in one another, especially when we go to church and worship God. Look at one another as Jesus' tabernacles, as the Holy Spirit's tabernacles, with respect, with delight, with joy. And when we do that, we will be able to do that for anyone and everyone. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us rejoice. The grace of Jesus Christ, the grace of God has chosen us. We are the remnant. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for choosing us by your grace. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for choosing us by your grace. O Holy Spirit, thank you, praise you, glorify you for choosing us by your grace. Enable us to be grateful, gra enable us to cultivate gratitude, thanksgiving, praise. Bless us to rejoice in all that you do, you have done, and you will continue to do. And give us the joy Give us the gratitude. Give us the delight we need. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.